Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines, already chanting, Go Blue! This is an important matchup, a battle of two top 10 teams, two forces colliding. One team will leave here making a big statement, as we'll see the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Wolverines will kick it away to start us off. Fields it inside the five-yard line be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for a huge chunk of yards. Here they do a nice job of getting it to the outside, turning it upfield, and ended up getting a nice gain out of it. Second down play coming up. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. On the opening drive, it's now third and four. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. bring their punt team on the field now. Returner decides to fair catch this. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. On the run, it's Edwards. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Quick completion to the tight end. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and you go to play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Second down play coming up for this offense. Same tailback, another carry. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looking for the wide out. Caught over the middle, it's Morris. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play is the result. The Wolverines are on the move here. Gonna run it. It's Edwards. 
They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Movement here from the tight end. He hands it off from the gun. He stopped just short out of the two, but an excellent run. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. And for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. QB decides to keep it here. He'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. Chris, this is exactly why it's so tough to defend this offense, and especially this quarterback. He can throw the football. We can see here, this guy's ability to run the option. He can pitch it, or in this case, run it, keep it himself, put six points up on the board. Now the important point after attempt. And it's 7-0 after the BAT. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. The shotgun running play call. Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Important second down play coming up. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. And the junior able to get home with the sack. I think that was a coverage sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. And the return man decides to signal a fair catch. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They had a brilliant touchdown drive last time, mixing the run and the pass. Can they keep that going again? A gain of two yards, and now it's second down and eight. Offense with some pre-snap motion. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Important third down play coming up. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. I want to move. Goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. A big play here that gets them down into the red zone. They're not thinking about a field goal, I assure you, Chris. They're trying to get six points. The Wolverines lining up here on first and ten. 
Running back with the football. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Keeping it on the ground here. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. They lose yards on first down, so second and long from the 16. Quick throw, the catch is made. Defense finally able to get him down after the juke, but he picks up a decent game. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Chris, sometimes the quarterback's just trying to find the open guy and get him the ball. It's exactly what he's able to do here. Found a way to pick up the first down. The offense will set up on first and ten. They're going to run it here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down here. And the single back takes the handoff. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. The offense now looking at a third and short from their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. Play action fake, looking to throw. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down, and it makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. Longhorns will have to mug this one away. <laughs> Bringing it back, it's Morgan. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Really excellent possession last time. They mixed the run and the pass, kept the defense off balance and route to a touchdown. That run moves the ball across the 35. Second down after that run on the previous play. He'll hand it off. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. 
Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrell Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. <laughs> Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. They'll run it from the gun. We're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Gets made on the out route. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Handoff running right. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. <laughs> Offense getting set. Second down play here. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Looking to scramble to his left. Get some space around the 30. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Man, it is fun to watch this guy get out in the open field. I didn't realize he could run like this. That's a big game for this offense. And the Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. The Salk were able to bring him down quickly. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. They'll try to run for the first down. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. And they will trot out the field goal team here. It'll be a 26-yard attempt. Should be automatic. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And they add to their lead. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Return looking to create better field position. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense takes the field. 
They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. The Longhorns come to the line in a hurry up. And the wideout goes in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. It's caught downfield. Tackle made after a big game. Man, is this guy a tough matchup or what? Not only are you trying to prevent him from making just a catch, but then you got to bring him down to prevent more yards after the catch. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. The defense all over him. He stopped it right at the line. Chris, I always talk about this. You can always gauge a team's toughness as a group by how willing they are to tackle with their corners. Here, the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover, does a good job of being physical and making that play. Offense cranking up the tempo now, no huddle. Pre snap motion from the receiver. handoff from the shotgun tackled behind the line it's a loss of two challenging play for the offense they face third and long here from their own 43 dropping back looking to throw for the first down and it's incomplete. He just missed his target, overthrowing it. Man, this quarterback is a stud. I, I looked at him all week and thought he had a chance to light up the scoreboard. But if the defense can put that kind of pressure on him, that's how you slow him down today. Longhorns will line up to boot it away. That's his fourth punt already today. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. Michigan offense back out on the field. That last possession produced a field goal, but more importantly, it milked the clock. And they do that again. Solid run moves the ball out across the 20 to 21. Second down after that run on the previous play. Give it to the back again. Breaking free at the 35. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge gain. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back. Just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. Chris, that's another good run for him. He's had such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The Wolverines have first and 10 here. It's a run to the left. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Getting set. Here's second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Trying to extend the play. 
He escapes the set. They escape one tackler, couldn't escape the rest. They've got him for a sack. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that'll spark them because, let's face it, this game has not gone the way they had hoped. But a play like that sometimes can create some momentum and change the complexion of the football game. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. To throw, it's Orgy. He's moving out of the pocket. The ball is loose. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. The offense will go for it here on fourth down and three. The shotgun handoff here. And moves the ball to the 35 with another first down. What a job by this offense picking up the first down. You know, as a play call, when you look at where you are in the field, if you punt it, there's a chance it goes into the end zone for a touchback. If you kick the field goal, it's a really long kick. So this is a great opportunity to be aggressive and pull the trigger to try to come up with a big play. They get it, keep the drive alive, and now they can get a touchdown. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring it down. Second down after that run on the previous play. He'll hand it off. Has the first down and more. He's got some room. Can he get there? Touchdown, Wolverines. It was a foot race and he won it. He just breaks away and takes it to the house from distance. That's an elite running back type of play. You know, when he got out into the open field, I didn't know if he had the speed to take that thing all the way to the house, but he does. That's next level speed. He'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. A pop pass on the jet sweep. It tests the middle to get stuck. That one goes nowhere. Behind the quarterback, a line of the pistol. Gives it to the back. They stop him right at the 24. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. But they can't convert this third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Bolden. Moves the ball out across the 30, and that's good for a first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Longhorns come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Dropping back. It's yours. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. 
The key on a third down between a quarterback and a wide receiver is the timing. That quarterback knows that he's got to get the ball out quickly and on time to give his receiver a chance to not just make the catch and stay in bounds, but to be able to give him a chance to maybe get upfield and make a play. Fires it to the wideout, and he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. The Longhorns getting set on first and ten. Grab made by the tight end. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Well, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Grab down the middle. It's Bolden. Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Now a chance to cut into this lead before halftime. It's first and goal. Quarterback drops back, looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Longhorns. Tight end was wide open. How do they lose track of the big fella down there, Kirk? I don't know. I wish I knew. I, the defense, to me, it looks like they just were so locked in on defending the goal line, they forgot about the tight end. That'll probably be the easiest touchdown throw and catch we see of the game today. They're set now to try the PAT. Extra point is good. They cut it to 17 now, 24-7. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Let's see how the offense plays it here. Not much time remaining if they want to get a chunk play, put him in scoring position before the half. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Man, you got to love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. Second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Chris, it's funny. I think this quarterback underestimated the athletic ability of this linebacker. He sees zone right away. He's thinking he's got some underneath windows and opportunities to get the ball to his skill guys. But this linebacker steps in front of him and makes a heck of a play. Looking for a gap. It's Edwards. They bring him down. They tried to run for it on third and long. A cautious play call doesn't work. And the defense will spend their second time out here to make some adjustments. The Wolverines will have to kick this away. And the offense will punt for the first time this afternoon. With the return, it's Bolden. And the return is brought down by the coverage team there. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Looking to throw it on first down. And it's complete downfield. Breaks the tackle. Now he's got room to run. Four set of bounds after a big gain. This offense set up with a first down. Well, that's exactly what you need to do as a receiver in these kind of situations near the end of the half. Get some positive yards, but also stopping the clock is just as important. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. And he knocks it right through the uprights.
So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the ten. And the coverage team brings him down as the clock runs out in the first half of play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Longhorns will kick this away to get the second half going. The turn begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Now, if the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. And the Wolverines will have first and ten here. Offense will keep it on the ground here. It's a two-yard game, second and eight caught up. off here from the shotgun defense gets him down but they'll take the gain on that play come up on third down solid drive defense trying to get off the field here they'll try to move the chains here on the ground and that game will pick up a first down and move the football to 36. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. First and 10 play coming up. They'll run it here. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. getting set it's second down here comes the handoff seven yard gain sets up a third and three They pick up the first on the ground. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. It's a fake, and they fake it and find the tight end. That fake does not work. The return team all over it, and they stop him short. Well, they gambled there, but it doesn't pay off. Passing up on the three points might regret that. Breaks loose at the 40. They stop him out at the 42. That's a solid gain getting closer to midfield. 
You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. Looking for some space, it's Baxter. They continue to feed the running back, but he has had nowhere to go today. They've been getting owned at the line of scrimmage. Longhorns will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Looking downfield, it's yours. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Grab behind the line. It's golden. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. First down, looking to throw the football. It's a short completion at the tight end. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Chris, the defense has got to do a better job of wrapping up the tight end there. The coach is preaching to these guys, we need more than one tackler to the ball. They caught a break there. The tight end breaks the first tackle, and they had another man there to bring him down before it could have gotten ugly. That completion makes it second and short. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. But now it's third down. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Running back grabs it on the screen. Finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screenplay. It's a solid game for a first down. A nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Second down after that completion. Here's the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Third down coming up after that running play. Receiver in motion now. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And they pick up the first out of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. The Wolverines look to keep this drive moving. Off the play fake on first down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. 
to throw. It's Orgy. On the run here. Let's it go. The ball is caught. Wolverines looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Michigan. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. Extra point try coming now. And the extra point makes it a three-touchdown lead. Set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Caught over the middle. It's Helm. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. The Longhorns will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get it down. down after that run on the previous play. Good pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Makes a nice move there. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. Back in motion now. And he'll drop back here on third down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. Longhorns will send their punt team onto the field. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. Oh, what a move. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends that are really recruited as big receivers, and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch, and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. Ball handed to the running back. 
Gets the first and still running. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. First down here for this offense. And the Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's play action. Let's it go quickly. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Finally stopped at the four. Great catch and run. Well, anytime you can have a balanced attack, it's always going to help an offense. And, you know, the previous play, they're running the football. That puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties. They start to think about defending the run and a great job with that play action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the beatdown continues. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point, doing everything that's asked of them, great execution, and put another touchdown up on the board. Now the all-important extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. Not easy to break down. The quarterback finally gets the job done. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. Completion makes it second down. Looking to throw. It's yours. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. He's got it for a big game. Breaks free down the left side, end zone ahead. No stopping him, takes it all the way. Touchdown, Texas. Love this never-say-die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And he knocks it right through. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. This has been a dominant performance so far. Up double digits at the break, building on the lead here in the second half. Well, hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive, working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can, but the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. 
Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. Reverse. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Hey, I'm a fan of any time you can get the ball into his hands, I think it's a win. Didn't go for a huge amount of yards, but it's the threat of what it potentially can do, and it gives him another opportunity to get his hands on the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll hand it off. Breaks loose at the 45. It's a huge gain across midfield. Ball will be spotted about the 31. Hey, when it's your day, it's your day. This offense, and especially this running back, enjoying a monster day, putting up huge numbers and having a nice, big, comfortable lead. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to pass, it's Orgy. He'll take a deep shot here. Defense breaks it up. Nice play, incomplete. Man, the offensive coordinator told us before the game, they consider any one-on-one -on -one deep shot an advantage, but they couldn't connect on that try. Give credit to that defensive back, man. He played that perfectly. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He'll take a deep shot. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Touchdown, Michigan. To stretch the lead, the route is on. So the offense flexing your group and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. And now the try here for the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. team has come on the field now to send this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense takes the field. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. It's a quick grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. makes it second and short to the air it's yours short throw complete to the tight end and the game just good enough for a first down a new set of downs after that completion On first and ten, looking to throw. What a job to lay out and make the catch. You know, as a quarterback, you end up having one of those days that everybody wants to talk about. How'd you do it? What a big day throwing the football the way he has today. Well, it takes catches like this and efforts like this to be able to allow you to have a great game. The Longhorns line up on first and ten now. Looking to throw yet again. Fires it to the wideout. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. 
Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. The completion makes it second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. He pulls it in for a big gain. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And the quarterback dropping back. Tight end makes the grab. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. That completion makes it second and medium. Back to pass. It's yours. Quick throw over the middle. Who makes the grab? Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Longhorns are in the red zone. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. Longhorns looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. It's a second and goal play for the offense. They flip it to him on the jet sweep, and he scores. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, you can tell that this play caller, the offense coordinator, he's thinking about the future. He wants to see how his quarterback and how this offense wants to compete when this game's out of reach. He's going to be very happy with the result of this play. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And the PAT is good. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll bring it out from inside the tent. Breaking through defenders. Oh, and he fumbled it. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. That is an incredible job by this kickoff coverage team. You don't see many turnovers on kickoffs, but they just gifted their offense with a bonus possession. The running back has been busy today, but not much to show for the defense all over him again. Second down after that previous play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. In the red area, it's Baxter. Tough running there. Breaks a tackle. Picks up the first down. 
You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Baxter. The defense drops him for a loss. It went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. The pre snap motion from the offense. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking right, this one caught. Brought down at the seven. The completion moves him closer to the goal line. Here we go. Third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. Dropping back, it's yours. Looking for six. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up, and you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet and finding the go-to play that will help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. Quick throw on fourth down to the left side. Oh, they've stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. Chris, what a great job here by this defense on this fourth down play. They knew exactly where to come up with that stop to get the turnover on downs, and they did it. Game makes it second and medium. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Man, I've gotten so conditioned here now that we're in the fourth quarter to see this guy get the football, just get more positive yards. Finally this afternoon, the defense steps up, says enough is enough, and they come up with a nice tackle. Serious challenge now for this offense. It's third down and 10 inside their own five-yard line. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Wolverines bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away. But... Oh, and it's blocked to the end zone. What a block. He flies right up the middle. The personal protector is occupied, and he comes up with a blocked punt. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Looking to pass. It's yours. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Man, I love this. Chris, I don't think they're going to have a chance to come all the way back. But here we are, under two minutes to go. And they continue to show some fight. And then you know what? Who knows? Maybe you cover an onside kick and you get right back in it. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's good. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. And the 
pushing your offense back out on the field. Using his legs, it's Edwards. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Movement at the second level of defense now. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Big guys up front, lined up. It's first down. Tight end goes in motion. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Here's the second down play. And there's the handoff. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. And the wideout goes in motion. Now, wasn't alert enough, didn't get the playoff. That'll cost him five yards. Quarterback lost track of the play clock. And that'll cost the offense five. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. It's victory formation. The quarterback will kneel down. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. And the importance of this attempt, if he makes it, it's now a three-score game. And it's no good. He missed it. Off the miss, the lead is still 14, a two-possession game. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head. That poor kicker. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. It's a short completion to the big tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit.